You can't see it, but I'm dancing. <laughs> we'll see it in a minute. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello everybody, hello friends and welcome back to another stream today. It's Tuesday, we tried it yesterday but we didn't make it work but we are here now and I think that's all that counts. So yeah, today is special because we want to talk about the PHP Foundation. I'm not sure if all of you have seen it yesterday but there was a big announcement by yeah, some big players in the PHP world about something new, which is called the PHP Foundation. And they say the PHP Foundation will be a non-profit organization whose mission is to ensure the long life and prosperity of the PHP language. So I think this already sounds pretty big. And yeah, that's why I wanted to, to do the stream and to talk about this topic. And I am not alone today. So let's bring in our first guest here. Hello, James. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? I'm okay-ish. I'm going to say a few words about that in, in a minute, but maybe let's also bring in now our second guest here. Hello, Freik. Hey, hello, you too. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, okay. I actually have a day off today. Um, oh, that's nice. But yeah, my day off is usually spent on my hobby project called oh dear so it's a little bit work as usual but other kind of work but i'm happy to work on this so that's today yeah but i'm glad you're here and yeah so first um what i need to mention is i'm not feeling that well today i had yesterday my third um shot my third vaccination and my arm hurts like hell and i didn't sleep much and on top of that i was at the dentist in the morning because i had a routine check <laughs> And somehow it wasn't a routine check anymore. And I got a, a tooth filling. Ooh. And yeah, now I don't know what hurts more. My teeth, my hair, <laughs> or my arm. But <laughs> I just hope I'm going to make it through the stream. But um, at least I hope that you can help me if something happens. <laughs> yeah, then we'll be able to, to call like emergency services for you if you pass out on this stream. So you're safe with yeah, us. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So... Um, yeah, maybe let's just dive right in. So yesterday there was the announcement of PHP Foundation. So maybe let's just start with what was your first thought when you read it? Maybe change you first. It's, yeah, I think it's a great thing. Um, I think PHP needs that direction and that commitment to the language. Um, and so long as the, the, the focus and the money goes into the right things, then I think we can only see good things coming from it. Positive good things. <laughs> Yeah, true. And here, as James mentioned, so handling money is one, I think, of the main tasks I think they they have on their goal because they're now collecting money through open collection. And yeah, they claim that this money or they are going to use this money, let's put it like that, um, yeah, for bring in new developers, work on stuff that helps the PHP language. So um, yeah, money for sure is something very important, I think, um, in that regards. What was your first thought, Freik? Yeah, my first thought um, wasn't that that positive, uh, but this was only when like you we had like th this partial communication, you know, where Laravel news communicated first, and you <laughs> had like only that web page about the money, but not that blog post about Jetstream. So that was like my first impression. Mm, this is a really strange communication. Like we're asking for money, but we're not explaining anything. 
But of course, uh, after like uh, an hour or something, the JetBrains uh, announcement came as well, and then things made a lot more uh, more sense because I had uh, like uh, some questions, like who is getting this money, who will decide how the money will be spent, uh, how will like the RFC process be be influenced, and those things they were covered in in that blog post as well. So now I'm. Let's let's say tentatively positive about this. I think it's good that there is an effort being made to make um, PHP development a little bit more stable and not so much depending on one person. Which yeah, yeah we we were lucky that it that it worked for a couple of years, but I think that everybody felt that this really isn't uh, isn't healthy to uh, to do. Um, I think. This is my honest opinion about it. I think this kind of an in initiative maybe should have happened a little bit sooner. Um, and it's uh, it feels a little bit rushed because there's now a really a necessity to do this because the, the bus factor essentially, it's, it's not zero because there are other people like Nikita working on PHP, but he's, I think, the, the, most, the most active one. And of course, it's easy for me to say like, hey, this should have done, uh, maybe be done a year earlier. Um, maybe I'm not allowed to say that because, yeah, I myself didn't do anything mm -hmm. uh, about this. Um, but I think, yeah, tentatively positive. We'll see, we'll see what happens is, uh, is, is my feeling. Um, I think it, it, has, it, has, it has a potential to be like the, the right thing for, uh, for PHP. Yeah, so there are a few things I want to catch up with what you said. So first, um, the bus factor, um, which is mentioned in the article, but also is an article by Joe Watkins, who also is, um, I think, a core developer, or at least is, he's very active, and he wrote this, I think, last year. And this article was about, um, yeah, that PHP runs pretty well with the core team and the new features lately, but under the hood, it's quite fragile because... Um, yeah, there are some a few people who have a lot of knowledge, and if only one or two of them leave, this could um, yeah leave PHP in a very bad situation. And I think mm -hmm. he posted this a year ago, and also he was mentioning Nikita, which if you don't know him, is one of yeah one of the main PHP core contribut contributors who has done a lot of amazing work in in the last years. And yeah, now we are here in a situation because yeah, also in the article it's mentioned that Nikita is going to leave or he's, yeah, he's at least spending much more time on a different project. So yeah, it's, I think it's quite interesting because we had this article like last year and now we are kind of in the situation which Joe was mentioning. And yeah, so it's kind of a negative situation because I guess we're all going to miss Nikita and he's done some amazing yeah. work. But on the other side, something new is now coming up. So yeah, you mentioned that it might be a little bit too late or maybe we should have started earlier. And that's the second thing I wanted to catch up. There have been quite some yeah, tryings like this in the last years as well. So. I know that many people reached out to the core team or other people um, were involved and tried to do something. And I myself, I also had my, my situation like um, at the beginning of this year and last year where I started here yeah, a big rant on the, on the website of PHP. Um, <laughs> and then people um, from the core team also reached out to me and I, I went into some discussions and I said, yeah, I don't want to rant about something. I want to help. And then... I was working um, with Paul Dragunis and we tried also to come up with something to help like the website and also the issue system. But yeah, the more I saw the system behind it, it was the more I realized, okay, it's not as easy as me saying, okay, I don't like the website and we can just change it because there are many people involved. There is a lot of yeah old legacy code applications behind and it's not easy just to change this and on top of that there is no like kind of organization which is saying okay we're deciding to do this and then we do this so um yeah there are still very individuals working on php everybody tries to help but there is no yeah no organizational company which is just um deciding this so 
Yeah. What, what do you think about the situation in, in general? Do you think there should be a company behind the language? Do you know of other languages where we have something like that? So what do you think would be the ideal situation? Um, thinking about it, like JavaScript um, and Swift. Golang, they all kind of have this RFC process that is like overseen by a committee, I, I think is probably the right word. And they seem to be all doing really well with it. The difference there, I guess, is that um, there are a lot of developers that contribute to those languages or can contribute to them. Uh, but I think PHP, I was looking through some of the pull requests on PHP last night, and a lot of the reviews come from Nikita. Um, who has a very, very in-depth grasp on the PHP source internals. And a lot of things are undocumented. So I think there's going to be quite a bit of a... Uh, there needs to be a lot of work to kind of simplify the document, the internal documentation before more people can contribute to it or at least understand how to go about contributing. And things like just-in-time complicated things so much further as well that I think there needs to be a, there, there needs to be work there first so people can actually contribute to the language and then we can go back and work on the documentation site and the the website itself and the resource ar uh, around core PHP. I think that a committee will or or an organization like the PHP Foundation will have um, the ability to do that. And I think that so long as the focus is kept uh, like on those things broken down into little projects i think we'll be okay but if if we lose focus on that i think it might be a bit of a problem yeah i agree with that uh um i th i think that i true true the foundation if it if it will work and it seems on the first day that they already uh garnered i uh or gathered uh some money to to pay some some good devs about this i think what 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 could happen is that you have like a lot of people um, making like small changes and and small things, but I also hope that there will be a few people that just make their full time job of of this, so they know it really really well, and they can have like um, the the function of like a, a core team member, like he knows it very well and. Uh, people can decide on directions. Compare it a little bit with Laravel. There are a lot of people that um, create PRs for like little features, but for like bigger things, yeah, that's probably done by uh, by the internal team, or they uh, at least need to oversee it in a in a good way so that it's implemented in the same in the same spirit. So I hope that the foundation will yeah, enable those two sorts. Of uh, of contributors, I hope people will stand up to take up these uh, these kind of roles. Yeah. So one of the next steps of the foundation, which is stated in the article, is um, getting a temporary administration, and mm -hmm. their goal is to find maybe a permanent administration, and then they want to yeah make sure to bring on new developers because it seems this is now the main goal now with Nikita leaving. Um, to have some yeah, developers only dedicated their work to PHP, hopefully full-time, maybe just part-time. They don't know, I guess. Um, they are now calling here yeah, for everybody who had already worked and want to do more. Just, mm -hmm. um, I think you can just reach out to them. And yeah, I think in, in the perfect world, we would end up with um, a bunch of core developers which get paid by companies, by the community. So this initiative, PHP Foundation, of course, is also by a lot of companies like Laravel, Automatics, um, Symfony, and so on. So very big companies relying on <coughs> PHP. And I think it's good and fair from them to uh, contribute to the language itself. And I think we all make so much money out of PHP. There are so many people working as a PHP developer. I think there, there must be a way to bring in some money to pay developers to work um yeah on the corn php for the future yeah i i personally think uh of, of course i'm not not certain about it that money won't be be like uh the problem i think they're they've been pretty good in 
generating like a positive vibe where people want to contribute uh, money because that's easy to do and a lot of people actually owe their livelihoods to uh to php so it's very compelling to uh want to do something back in an, in an easy way but i think the hard part is um yeah figuring out what to do with the money and how to handle it pretty well make like the good decisions to do uh, to do on this now i've also read in that blog post that um what the foundation will do is basically um just decide who gets the money to uh, to work on what and that the current rfc process and the decision process remains the same so it's just funding development really um i can it, it's it's too early to tell but i can also see like uh, a, a shift there in the future where those roles will be a little bit more intertwined where um if you if you want to spend if you're going to spend a lot of money on a feature you also want to know for sure that it's going to be accepted because otherwise the the money is wasted so it makes sense that those two processes that they go a little bit a little bit together so i i hope the people on the foundation and the people that are on the rfc side of things that they really find each other and that that that, that will gel well um, yeah we'll, we'll see what that gives to add to that i think there's still there's quite a few people on the rfc co committee or the team or whatever that aren't actively using php i, mm -hmm. I believe um yeah. and i think that um when people are donating a lot of money to the kind of future of php i'm i'm hope i'm not sure if it was mentioned in the blog post but i would hope that companies like symphony and laravel and automatic get a seat at the table of the RFC process because mm -hmm. they're the people that are using the language day to day. They're the people that companies rely on PHP. Yeah, so yes, yeah. Th that's, th that's, I think an important thing right now. It's, uh, I think you, you need to have like karma points or have contributed to PHP in some way, but I think, uh, you're correct, James, that I think big companies that not only contribute to PHP itself, but use PHP in a very big way, they, they need to be heard uh, as well, I think, yeah. uh, with, in that decision-making process. Yeah, I also think, as you both mentioned, so money probably wouldn't be the biggest mistake. So there are big companies involved, and I think getting money is, is for sure possible. But then, of course, with money, there comes, yeah, maybe ideas, maybe expectation, and then this is where it could get yeah, complicated because as you as you mentioned, Freak, if somebody pays a lot of money and then the direction of PHP is maybe going a little different way than they thought it would be, then I guess we are maybe back at the position where we've been with um, the FIC, which we had mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago. Let me bring in a comment here. Oh, this, this Still is a little bit to... too big. Oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, yeah. So let's put it down here. So like Steve mentioned, um, so I I don't know too much about the fake. I just know that it was a, a cooperation between the big frameworks like Level, Symphony and the others. And there were people building this community because they all have, in theory, the same interest to make PHP um, better for their frameworks as well. And this didn't work out quite well in the end. And I, and I just, just, if I remember correctly, Taylor once said, okay, he's leaving the group and then other left as well. And I think before that Taylor was um, allowed to vote on the RFCs, but I, I think since then he's not anymore. Is this correct? Do you know more about that? Um, yeah, James, oh, wait, you want sorry. To... No, yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about it, sorry. <laughs> I, I know a little bit uh, of the history and uh, I apologize if I remember things uh, incorrectly. It's, it's just from, uh, from memory. Um, so the, the FIC, uh, for people that don't know, it, is the Framework Interop Group. Uh, the um, goal was to have a set of standards that all um, frameworks would share so that you don't have to implement, uh, reinvent the wheel in, in every framework. Um, so there are, there have been a, a few very, very good things that they decided on things that you see now as 
yeah, this is normal. Uh, such as like the uh, the auto loading, how you auto load uh, stuff. Uh, I still remember in my Zen days that you had to write your own auto loader, and if you want to uh, add a package, you must research how how it should be loaded and write that into your own auto loader. So this is like yeah um, yeah this is why some people call me uncle, I guess uh, <laughs> that I know this uh, that I know this stuff. And so the, the 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 fig did some very good things in the beginning, also the the code style and stuff. But I think that some people were of 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 the opinion uh, at some point that the fig's job was basically done. So all things have already been decided on where we need to have like decisions made. And I think the fig maybe it outstayed its welcome. A uh, little bit. There were some internal struggles then, and I think uh, Taylor and Symphony, uh, or Laravel and Symphony, they uh, they left because they didn't want to cope with um, all of this mess anymore or the the internal struggles. While there was no clear benefit uh, anymore, so I think that's a little bit of a short story of the fig. Uh, they're still around and they're still doing some stuff. I see that they're trying to make themselves a little bit relevant again. They recently had a, had like an idea like we can propose standards, but what the problem was what with, with certain standards was is that they were like set in stone and they didn't change. But I think for code styling, they've now have like an evolving standard, which yeah. there's like an internal procedure with them so they can uh, make changes uh, fast faster uh, so we have php that has a new release every year they can have like code styling for the new features very fast in place so there's they're not gone and i think it's still good that they're there but yeah their 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 role is is quite diminished because they've already tackled the big problems in my mind yeah like a few in the comments also mentioned so php fig did great work and they came up with some very nice standards for everybody to use and i didn't know that they're still active so I, I need to check that again so sorry if i was wrong on that but yeah in the end i think what what drives me positive here is that they somehow managed to yeah get very big players again on on the table and they mm -hmm. came up with an idea and they released it because I think many before did already try to do something similar and in the end it never came out. So I think it's good that it's that they came to some agreement somehow. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective, of course, I also have um, doubts. Will it work? What's about the money? Who will decide? Will there be a lot of discussion? Will people get annoyed and then leave again because it's too complicated or maybe the processes get too slow? So there are many things that could go wrong. But... I think as a PHP developer, we have to yeah stay positive and, th and give this a chance. So this was also my first um, reaction to what I read. I think this could be good. We don't know if it will work, but I think we have to try. And if I can support it somehow, maybe with a little bit of money, with some streams explaining what's going to happen or something else, then I definitely want to do this because I'm living now from PHP for yeah 10 years something like that. And I, I, I love the language. I love the improvements in the last years. And I think there's there's so much PHP can still do in the future. And I want to be there and see it happen again. So I think that's we have a chance here and mm -hmm. you got to need to try that. Yeah, and I think it's a good opportunity, you know, um, and we should indeed be grateful for this because these are like people that um, spent their time in doing this it's it it was much easier for JetBrains and for the people involved to just say well nah i it'll figure itself out i'm not, not going to do anything so i'm pretty grateful for people that just stand up and and really try to to improve the situation a little bit and yeah I, i've said in the beginning that i'm tentatively possible but i have great admiration for people that uh that put the some some effort into this because if it succeeds yeah then 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 it's really cool that that there's like a sustainable evolving language where um the community is being heard for new features and those features get get implemented fast if you think about like the um 
the best case scenario, yeah, that that is very very good news for uh, for PHP. Yeah. Also, I think about if we can make this happen now, this organization, the administration bringing on new developers, then we have the chance to do so much more than starting maybe taking a look at the website again, improvements mm -hmm. on on designs, on the onboarding process for people using PHP, but also people wanting to contribute to PHP, which mm -hmm. is not that easy yet. And I'm sure there are many out there that would love to help out, but they may be lost with how it currently looks. And I think there are many chance and many good things that could come out from this change. And this is what, what I dream about. So Christoph, you tried um, making the PHP docs a little bit better earlier this year, right? I still remember you doing like a survey uh, on 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 stuff, and it had pretty interesting results. My my question for you, if I can ask a question here, <laughs> is uh, what was like the big roadblock uh, for you um, with with this effort? Because I think that there was there was nothing changed in the end. Uh, you seem to be quite passionate about it. Well, what was the problem there? What can what can be improved there? Yeah. So what what can be learned from this? So yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little bit sad, and I haven't talked about it yet, just because I'm I'm not happy that we didn't end up with any results. But the idea was I was working with Paul Dragunis, and he's also quite a lot involved into. PHP and the core team and he knows a lot of the people and he was managing the website for a very long time and I think he still does and the idea so my complaints were about the website about the documentation and the onboarding process and then we talked about okay what could be um, improved and then we came up with the idea of two surveys which we did and we were asking people what are their biggest concerns the biggest obstacles when it comes to PHP, learning PHP, but also if they wanted to contribute but failed. And um, we did this two surveys and we gathered a lot of information. But yeah, it was very difficult always in between. And then what is next? Who do we who do we need to bring on board to make this happen? And then we tried, we also came up with a name. I, I can't think of it anymore. What was it? The uh, PHP yeah, you had a name initiative, so. something like that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't remember. It's a little bit embarrassing. But yeah, um, <laughs> when we tried to do this and we had a lot of comments on Reddit, there were also a lot of negative comments also from some other PHP core developers because they felt like we were trying to do something without bringing them on board. So I think the whole situation with the people involved, there are many people involved working on that for over 10 years yeah and then somebody mm -hmm. like me comes here and say oh i don't like the website um it sucks is of course not something that they want to hear and then it's difficult to bring everyone on the table and at some point paul and i had weekly meet meetings where we tried to push the idea and at some point yeah we had more other projects and then we also i think mm -hmm. lost a little bit of interest because we yeah there weren't any positive results yet and yeah, I'm still sad that we didn't make that work, but I think we, we can maybe still use this somehow. Maybe we can also talk to the PHP Foundation and share with them the results we made with, from our service because I think the results are very interesting. And yeah, maybe we can still um, use that information. Just on, yeah. on that point, Christoph, the, um, the fact that you got the negativity back from the PHP or some of the members of the core team, I think that kind of... Um, maybe attitude is too strong of a word, but that kind of mentality maybe needs to go away with the foundation. Because if you're, if you're trying to get people to contribute, then you need to be open to contributions and ideas and suggestions. Um, so I, I think that if the uh, foundation are the people that are in charge of saying, right, this is, it, or sorry, if you can go to the foundation and say, uh, we want to work on the documentation side, there's lots of issues, like all the comments are about PHP 4 and 5, they're no longer relevant or whatever, like we want to do something about it. And they take that to the kind of PHP team and uh, kind of plan out how that's going to happen and how you can contribute to it and how they can contribute to it. I think as long as it's a collaborative experience and whatever, then mm -hmm. it, will, it will work well. But just saying, oh, I don't like it because some new guy is trying to like undermine me or whatever, then that's not going to be conducive to anything, is it? 
Yeah, that's true for sure. And um, me and, and, and me and Paul, we also did some mistakes, of course. And I'm, I'm still sorry about my tweet because um, yeah, it was a, a little rent and it were um, was more active than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's, it's one of the situations where you feel like, okay, suddenly one of my tweets, everybody's reading, but all the others with the more important information, which I want to share. Um, not that many people are reading and retweeting, but um, yeah, that's always how it often is with those negative ones and yeah i'm so sorry about that but still it brought me together with um, paul which i think was a good outcome of this and i'm also not complaining about any of the core developers that they were angry what we did because we also did some mistakes there but yeah as you mentioned in the end we are here we want to help we want to contribute to um, the language and I guess at some point we just need to find a way to use the energy of the people and um, use it for for the project. And I hope that PHP Foundation, as you mentioned, could be here a leading factor to bring those people better together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, everyone wants to improve PHP and see it continue to be successful. Because otherwise we don't got jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the subject of improving documentation, uh, Christoph, you weren't the first one that uh, that tried this. I remember like a couple of years ago, um, I can't remember his name, or Sami, uh, I, I don't. Um, Sami Kla. From the PHP uh, Roundtable, I think. Uh, yeah. he, he also did like a rant post because he wanted to change something on the, on the documentation. And he actually uh, documented all the steps and it was like crazy. I, I remember hitting on it because I wanted to change something as well. And it was like, no, these are like 20 steps too much. We need to do something uh, about this. And at the conference, I spoke to a couple of people who were in charge with that, who said like, yeah, we know it, but it's it's like a lot of effort to get this right because you, you don't probably know it, but there's like a lot of people that just yeah are used to this this format a little bit and we don't want to to change it too much um now yeah it's it's a difficult topic because it's easy for us to say it needs it needs to be needs to be changed maybe we don't know, know all the nuances there but i also hope that uh with the foundation that it's not only about like the code and the php code base but also like the marketing uh around it um I think what 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 the PHP Foundation could do. I'm not necessarily saying it's it's like what they should do or that is the best idea. What they could do is just go ahead and do it and create like a good documentation site for PHP and a good marketing site for PHP. Basically, everybody can can just do this if they just spend their time. It doesn't need to be like the official documentation. It could be something else. But of course, it would be better if like the core people of PHP would be involved as well so that it becomes like the official one. But if it really comes to this and there is really, yeah, nothing moving, then an option could be to, yeah, just create like a new documentation site where all of these all comments are removed and where there's like good, good snippets. Uh, you could do this. Yeah. So, um, when was it October? Joe Watkins, who's on the PHP Foundation, he tweeted saying that understanding C is useful, but not a prerequisite of being useful in the review process for PHP pull requests. If someone is proposing to add um, or fix Y to or in X, and you are familiar with X, then what are the implications of Y for X? Your knowledge of the subject matter is useful. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if that carries through to the the collection the collective and you don't just have to be a c programmer to contribute you can contribute in other ways and get paid for those contributions then i think we're okay and that was joe tweeting it so hopefully that stays true yeah i i hope so too i also think that uh, that's a very good point that you don't need to be like a c programmer to contribute to this i think just having like a good well-formed opinion about the feature and about the direction can already be uh, be very helpful to people. No, not like comments like, uh, yeah, this is good or this is bad, but like really well-informed uh, opinions that are thought true. You can have opinions about new features without having the knowledge of C 
at all. I, we all have like probably our favorite PHP 8 feature, uh, some things that we don't like on the language without us being C programmers, right? Yep. Yeah, sure. Also, one thing I wanted to add was um, we also have to think about that in the last five years, I think the PHP developers have changed a lot. So I think we have so many more developers not coming from university or some very technical background. They're also coming from online courses. They come from maybe they start designing and then they start with PHP. So I think there's also a big change here from who is developing PHP now than it was like 10 years ago. And I think this is also something we are especially, I think, um, the three of us come from from the level world where yeah everything is about user experience and the documentations that we see, the APIs that we see, all is super well planned. And there are many people out there that maybe don't think that's necessary necessary or have different opinions. But I think from every community there um, are very different people, and it's for sure difficult to bring everybody on board, especially now with times are changing so fast but i think that must be the goal of the foundation also yeah getting new developers um in the next 10 years as well for php because we don't want it to die and it still drives 75 percent of the internet and we still have to yeah dream big and set those big goals also for the future mm -hmm. yeah. yeah indeed personally i'm not afraid of php dying it's just too big too good and there are a lot of good devs uh, uh still using it so yeah php 5.6 lasted us a long time php mm -hmm. 7 was great and php 8 is even better so if if we don't move past 8 then i'm i'm happy anyway so it's a <laughs> solid language <laughs> that's true it's 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 so much fun nowadays and one thing i also wanted to mention it was said here in the comments let me check. Do I find it now? No, I think I lost it. Okay, any... Um, we have we have Roman here. Roman, by the way, um, is working for PHP Storm and he was also involved in yeah, helping organizing the PHP Foundation. I'm, I'm not sure if he will have a definitive role in the foundation, but um, first, thanks Roman for working on that also with PHP Storm. But maybe this could be also a chance for us to think about, yeah, to think about um, if we have any wishes for the PHP Foundation. Roman is hearing us. Maybe we can, if, do you have anything in mind that you want to say, please think about this or maybe don't do this? Or I guess this could be a chance now to, to pluck yeah, your yes. ideas or thoughts. So I have two things. One is that, um, personally, I don't see the, the benefit of a uh, feature like just in time in PHP. I've never used it. I don't know anyone that, that really has not, not made a big thing about it. So I'm hoping that we don't get more things like that, that, that aren't adding to the language. They're just complicating it. Um, maintenance performance, they're the things that I'm interested in and, and also like the the language syntax. So I know Nuno is working on a, um, uh, I can't remember multi, what it's called. Multi-line multi closure thing? Yeah, multi-line closures. That, yeah. oh, I love that in JavaScript. Please, please, can we get that added into PHP? <laughs> like it, it, it works. There's definitely some considerations there. I understand that. But um, those kind of things that make developer experience nicer I, I feel like we should add them and not just be afraid to to add things because other languages do. Um, it works really well. I use it all the time in JavaScript. So yeah, <laughs> performance, performance, <laughs> maintenance, and multi-line closures, please. <laughs> Thank you. Signed, James. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Freak? Anything in mind? Uh, I don't have like any specific things in mind but may maybe two two general thoughts i wouldn't be afraid of of breaking things if things can be made better this way maybe that shells a little bit with what james has said like just shed off anything that like only a half of percent of the users need uh the simpler you can can make things and the 
uh, more developer friendly the PHP code itself can be, the better, because then you get more people working on this and uh, yeah, it'll be a, a better language in the end. And I also um, would want to add, and that's something that, that we already talk about, uh, is, is to think big. Not only think about uh, the code itself, but also about the marketing and the, the learning resources. Um, there's, yeah, th that's a lot of work to get that right. Uh, and a lot of work means a lot of, a lot of time needs to spin, uh, be spent and yeah, time costs money. So I wouldn't be afraid to also invest a little bit uh, in that because good marketing and good learning resources builds up a good community, uh, people writing better PHP codes, more people potentially contributing to PHP itself. So th that should also be a goal. Don't make it about programming alone, but also about everything uh, next to programming. Yeah. Just to, to add to that, um, what Frank was saying about the kind of the, the marketing of PHP, I think that's super important because PHP is a fantastic language. It's definitely got its nuances. We're all aware of the needle haystack issues and and like some of those awful things that happen. But um, as a language itself, it's solid, it's reliable. It powers 75% of the internet, but yet PHP still has a bad name. And I'd, I'd like to see some of the work from the foundation go towards um, showing that that isn't the case. I mean, we, we all talk very strongly that we love PHP. And we do our bit to try and promote it, but it's still got people stuck in the days of PHP 4 and 5 where there were problems and inconsistencies. Um, so I'd like to see the foundation kind of... So, so what Frank was saying, marketing it, making it, making it look as good as it actually is. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, I want to add to that. Um, yeah, I can only agree. And the one thing I was missing before was only one thing I wanted to improve with Paul was also giving PHP a face because I was trying to find who is developing on PHP. And it's funny, it's not so easy to, to find it out. You can check out specific pull requests, but there's no like page, hey, this is the core team, probably because it's not that easy, but I would love to see who are the people working on PHP, give them a face, give them a name, show the world who is working on, on the future of PHP. And this is also what I would love to see in, in kinds of marketing, be more open about what is going to happen, more transparency. And I think this is what people love and what we, they um, would be very happy to have. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And one more thing, um, because we were talking about the shit. So, Brand, your colleague, Freak, was also saying that there will be some big things coming in um, PHP 8.2 of the shit. So, we'll see about that. And also, Roman added here. So, the shit is a long term investment. So, it might pay off in the future. So, I guess fingers we'll, crossed then. <laughs> yeah. I guess we have to wait and see. All right. Um, is there anything you still want to talk about or you think we haven't talked yet about regarding those announcements? Um, I'm just, uh, I don't have any extra thoughts, but I'm going to re-emphasize that I really think that it's very, very good that people, uh, that people organized uh, this. So congratulations to, to everybody involved and uh, good luck uh, with, with everything uh, that, uh, that you're going to do. I, I hope you succeed. Yeah, I also like to, to say, please um, don't give up. If you need <laughs> anything, if you need some help, men power, women power, whatever, um, I guess we're all willing to help in, in the ways we can. So I guess a lot of people yeah. are out there willing to help. So don't be shy to reach out to others. And we all have the same goal. We all have the same idea for the future of PHP, at least I hope so. And yeah, don't give up. And I, I really hope we can make this happen in, in a good way that will improve the language and the ecosystem around PHP. Yeah, amen to that. I'm not religious, <laughs> right. but amen to that. <laughs> good. So, um, yeah, I think um, this was a nice discussion and I think we all shared our thoughts and ideas and hopes for this project. Um, I hope... Roman, PHP Storm, and all the other companies will keep us updated about what is happening because we're all eager to hear what's coming next. 
Um, besides that topic, is there anything else you want to, to mention or plug? My big um, course sale was already yesterday, so <laughs> I'm too late now, but I know that Freak is still having something. I'm not sure if James also has something to mention. Or maybe you can talk a little bit about your secret project. Is there anything coming soon? Ooh, it's, good. It's, coming, it's coming soon. Um, oh, I'm yeah. just about to get some very early testers on board and I'm and I'm planning on getting the landing page up soon to to um get some feedback mainly because I don't I, um for those that don't know I've been working on a project since last December that I've been working on in relative secrecy um there's a few people that know about it and um it's mainly secret because I don't want to just end up dropping it or not doing anything with it. I want to work on it and kind of give something that is actually useful to people um, rather than like many of my projects. I start it and then it just dies out. Um, but th this one I'm, I'm heavily invested in and I'm hoping that maybe next week I'll get the landing page up, if not sooner. Ooh. Um, yeah. And, and have awesome. something to show. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. And I'm very eager to see what what you've been working on because I have no idea. Um, Freak, what what do you yeah, want to let, plug here? You let me plug uh, very shortly that we have some uh, amazing Black Friday uh, discounts uh, for all Spassy uh, products. Um, so at spassy.be slash products by yeah purchasing a product of ours you also help us uh, create uh, open source stuff um, pivoting to the open source stuff I'm working on a new package to um, check on the health of a Laravel application there are a couple of similar packages already but I'm intending to take the best parts of everything that I see and make like the one application health uh, package to rule them all I'd say um, two more things uh, tomorrow, this is uh, something that I'm going to say exclusively for you. Uh, we have a special uh, Ray promotion uh, going on. So Ray is like a, a dump and die debugging tool. If you debug stuff, Ray helps you to debug faster. Normally, we sell licenses for one year. But uh, tomorrow, we are going to sell uh, lifetime licenses at Spassi, uh, mm -hmm. To and To add to that, Ray is like... Dump and die on steroids. I use it every yeah. single day. It's it's open all day, every day. Um, it's just it's yeah, it's amazing. Nice, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for for me as well, I use it all the time. But yeah, uh, I'm a little bit uh, uh, you have more colored in my opinion as a creator. I'd say, <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad to to hear you say that you're using it uh, a lot, James. Uh, thanks. And the final thing that uh, I'm going to mention is at Odir, which is like an uptime tracker that I've made. Uh, we launched uh, a new check in there. We can also monitor DNS uh, records uh, now. Um, so that's also something that you can check out. So that's, that's it. Sorry for the length of it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so um, check that out. I, I guess you can read about that also on Spassy website or Freak's Twitter account. Yeah. And yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you all for, for joining the stream today. I think we had an interesting discussion. And yeah, let's see what's coming next from the PHP Foundation. Yeah, I'm glad that we discussed the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I think I have, I have this one here. Wait, I'll just it? do... No. <laughs> But I'll, I'll no. just do my sound again. <laughs> Poo -poom. I guess, I guess yeah. I only hear the sound effect, which I have here programmed, but I need to work on that so that you can hear it too. But yeah, uh, thanks again for joining. And yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Yeah, very glad. And I will be live on Friday again, where I start digging into Pest again on Lara Streamers. And as a guest, I will have Luke Donning the pest guru and we're, yeah, we're going to check out how we can improve my given tests on Lero streamers. So join me on Friday then again. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining. Have a great day and yeah. See you the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.